dear colleagues, I am Dr. Alok Sood. I am Director Professor at Lady Harding Medical College. Uh, when this uh, opportunity came to me, uh, I was already thinking of writing a book for undergraduate students. We used to take lectures for the undergraduate students and I used to go through the books which are written specially for them. But I used to find them very incomplete. So none of the books were telling clinical examination. There were separate books for clinical examination, for instruments and viva, for theory. So this book was written as a complete book. It has the complete theory information, the clinical practical examination information and information about the instruments as well. Not only that, it has got MCQs as well as OSCEs also. And this is further supplemented by a variety of videos which are now required to acquire procedural skills. Greatest feature about this book is that, that it not only covers the newest trends, but it has also retained the traditional answers to traditional questions. That is, this duality is especially true of Asian countries where the newer trends are known but they may not be put to use because of logistic reasons. And that is why information which is prevailing as well as the information which is traditional, both are important to Asian students. So both have been included in this book and I think that is it's one of its USPs. Today's world is of acquiring competencies. So because of that, the NMC has uh, carried out competency-based medical education system. So this book is completely aligned with the competencies. Now, competencies is something which you cannot acquire just by reading a book, right? That is learning passively. Now, in this book, we have provided with videos which will actually tell you how to do a procedure. So these procedural skill videos will actually build up your competencies. All the competencies which are required to be fulfilled by an orthopedic graduate are given in this book. Clinical faculty, I think, is already working too hard. It is working over time. Uh, they are so involved in the patient care that undergraduate teaching suffers. Not only that, uh, when uh, the question comes to teach the procedural skills, uh, the faculty is at loss. How to do it? Because, uh, you know, the resources may not be present every time. But if you have a book like this, which is not only a theory, uh, which not only gives you clinical practical examination information, but also proce procedural skill videos, the faculty will be highly, uh, you know, uh, assisted in taking a lecture or teaching a certain concept to the students. Students of today's time as all of us know, they have less time and more syllabus, more exams to crack and more exams after more exams. So uh, the book is not only concise and precise and very, very brief, but it also builds up the uh, concept. How is it possible? It is possible because of good planning in the book. The book has been planned in such a way that suppose if you start reading hip, uh, the chapter on hip joint, you will not only uh, read the anatomy, the function which is you know mandated by the CBME that is horizontal as well as vertical integration. You will also read about the clinical examination followed by radiographic examination and followed by synopsis of all the common hip diseases and their management as well as differential diagnosis. So the students will find it extremely enjoyable to read. The only quick tip uh, which I would like to give them is that they should utilize their undergraduate clinical posting in orthopedics to the full. The book has been written in such a way that you can finish this book within 15 days. So when you come to orthopedics posting, start with general orthopedics, follow it by regional uh, orthopedics and by trauma. So you take up one, one topic each day, suppose you have taken up hip, so you in the posting, you read about the clinical examination and the radiographic examination. When you go back to your hostel or to your room, then you start reading about the, uh, the theory part, but finish HIP in that, on that day. The concise manner in which it is written, the bulleted kind of information, the tabular form of information, and great illustrations. So the illustrations, uh, the, in the second edition, my focus was on the illustrations because, you know, uh, uh, there is a saying that a picture, it tells you about thousand words. 
so a good picture uh, if you go through it will build up your concept in such a way that that you don't have to read many words so i think that is the legacy of the book